Well, I'm a, uh, a local boy. I graduated from Liverpool Boys High School in 1969. Unfortunately, I did badly or stupidly in my high school certificate and was not successful in getting into university. I was not able to get into architecture, which was my chosen field in a drafting sense. So I did the next best thing and took up civil engineering for a year when I was then able to get a job with a local draftsman in Liverpool and I undertook a, an architectural drafting certificate at Granville TAFE for four years and was lucky enough to be the ducks of the college in 1974. At that time I was working for a builder doing roof conversions of all things, first floor additions and he offered me a position to run my own practice and I ran that successfully until 1979 when I joined with Gloria De Angelis, my current partner, and we became De Angelis Taylor and Associates Architects. In 1994, I did a master's degree at Sydney University in Architectural Design Science as a mature age student. I enjoyed that immensely, I wasn't expecting to, and I graduated with honours on the Dean's Honours List, which was a very pleasant surprise. And then in 2005, I was able to, through an alternative pathway to registration, become a registered architect in New South Wales and have been an architect in my own right for the past six years. So I've had a very interesting and varied career journey. The architectural industry is somewhat depressed at the moment due to the current economic crisis which makes life difficult. Our own practice has shrunk about 40% in the last year after having a number of very good years through the stimulus. Uh, I believe there is time for a turnaround in the next few years. The new government should, uh, the state government should be doing some uh, work to attract people in developing and there is a backlog in need for medium density and apartment dwelling and in many areas of development. So I expect development will improve in the next few years. It's a cycle of unfortunate boom and bust. Architecture suffers at first, but thankfully recovers first as well. An architectural draftsman and a building designer are essentially the same person. Uh, they are uh, people who achieve trades at qualifications at TAFE as I did many years ago, even though the courses are somewhat different now. And that I believe is either a two-year full-time course or perhaps a four-year part-time course. Whereas as an architectural qualification is a degree course, which involves six years of uh, study at university, and you then become a, an, a registered architect after the completion of that process. It is a higher qualification where there is much more requirement for design skills, communication skills, uh, contractual knowledge um, and running in some cases like me a business whereas I would employ uh, building designers and or architectural draftspeople to do my work for me. Entering the industry in the last few years and today has always been difficult. If you want to become an architect or an architectural draftsman, don't necessarily worry about your school certificate result because you can always do something as a mature age student. What I would do is become very proficient in CAD as early as possible with some of the current free CAD programs on the net like uh, Google SketchUp. I'd develop as much proficiency as possible. I'd try and develop a body of work by learning those programs and I would hawk my services around to as many people as possible trying to get work experience in architectural or drafting offices and doing my best to um, get experience wherever I can and then obviously of course enrol in a TAFE course to get the necessary qualifications because employers just won't employ people without any ability these days they haven't or any experience they can't afford to. I have found networking absolutely invaluable. I have been a Rotarian since I've been in business. A lot of my work initially and even to this day comes from Rotarians. 
I use them for services. I'm also a member of my local Chamber of Commerce where I served as President for a number of years and that introduced me to a lot of business people around my town and I was able to secure a lot of work through that level of networking as well. So I have found networking in any form and I'm now in LinkedIn which is a, a, a networking forum on the net. Uh, I found that invaluable and you cannot do without some form of networking in life.